Welcome back, folks, to Let's Play Ultima 8. And when last we left off, the Avatar found his first magical item of the game, the Bone Crusher, a mighty looking weapon indeed, that we managed to find deep in an ancient cave that was guarded by many enemies, including a troll, a skeleton, and some things that spat fire at us. But fortunately, we were able to persevere, and now we are back in Tenebrae, about to go and seek the Necromancers. I think I know where I need to find the Necromancers, and that would be the cemetery. And I know where that is. Vaguely. As in I know it's to the east of Tenebrae, and not to the west. We do need to do a little bit of inventory management before we do that, however. The first thing we need to do is we need to drop this potion. It would be more accurate to say that this is just a bottle, because there's nothing in this. We also have another one of those, we want to drop that as well. We can't, however, drop the death discs, because if we try to drop one, it'll just explode. And if we try to drop enough of them near us, we will die. What don't we need, though? We probably don't need this scroll of trap detection. So we'll just put that right there. We can just have that there for now. What else don't we need? We need this empty pouch, because we will be uh, putting stuff in there in a little bit. How is our carry capacity now? It is weight 43. That is much better. Let us now go and head to Eastern Tenebrae. And then head over beyond Eastern Tenebrae, out into the wilderness. There is one thing I do want to say, however, and that is that for the longest time, I thought there were only five save slots in this game that you could use. If you go to write or read in the diary, you can see this one, the beginning, which you can't save over, and then these five entries. And I thought, what will happen if I need to uh, have more than five saves at any one time? I'd have to copy the files over into different locations so that I have a backup of the saves, just in case something went wrong. And then I thought, if only it had something like how it actually is designed. Because it's a book, you could just turn the page, and you would find more save slots. But it didn't look obvious to me that that was the case. And then I decided to try and click here. And here are six more save slots. We have a maximum of 11 save slots that we can use. That was why I was uh, overwriting the saves that I already had. Because I didn't think there were more. There are, however, entirely separate save slots for each different language mode for the game. And so, we have more save slots. I didn't think there were that many. Turns out, I was mistaken. Let's carry on, shall we? We need to go this way, and we need to go and find the way out of Tenebrae. At least on this side. There is another way that you can leave Tenebrae, and that is to the west, and we'll be going there eventually. Right now, we need to head this way, and at some point we need to go and talk to the town sorcerer. We'll probably do that when we head back to Tenebrae. We'll just ignore that situation, and head out through this exit. There are going to be a lot of enemies out here, much like how there were the other way that we went, to the north. Let's have a look around, shall we? There might be something awesome that we can get here. Or failing that, there might be a treasure chest that we can unlock. This is locked. We see lots of food here. Do we have a key that can open this? If we try and use the uh, quick command of pressing K, we could try and use our keyring automatically and see that there's really nothing of any interest in here. If we use B, we can rest by using the bedroll without having to click it out of our backpack. That is a handy shortcut indeed. Now we need to go and search for the cemetery, and I think I know where we need to go. We probably need to follow this road. After all, why would they not have a road to the cemetery? We'll just have a nice walk here, and eventually, yes, we'll have to uh, pick which way we want to go. I didn't think we'd be so fortunate as to have one uninterrupted pathway to the cemetery. We'll go this way for now. Maybe this will lead to where we need to go. Or maybe we'll just have to walk around this area until we find the cemetery. It's a long, long walk, but the Avatar could do with a long, long walk. And there are a few ghouls. Let's fight them, shall we? For no other reason than we can. How about thee? I did not put up the uh, health and mana. 
we need to do that. This weapon is really good at dealing with these uh, ghouls. Marvelous. And I don't think we took a single hit. Excellent. Let's carry on, shall we? There is a skeleton! Have at thee! Maybe we're getting closer to the cemetery! And are you going to get a single hit? No, you are not. Do you have anything good? You have some money? We'll take that, we'll leave the rest of that on you. We don't really need any of those uh, gems or that potion. We might as well actually uh, put those uh, coins on our pile of other coins. If only the game automatically did that, eh? Let's move on. Are we getting closer? So enjoy the cries of torment. Well, I don't like the fact that you're enjoying that, but I'm sure we'll be back in Britannia before you know it. What's over here? It sounds like we're in the cemetery. And not surprisingly, here are some undead that we need to fight. Have at thee! I have a weapon that is specifically designed to crush bones. It is a good thing that most things I'm fighting have bones to crush. One thing to note is that the kith probably do not have bones that I can crush. Here is a gravestone. Sir Richard died of fright, plunged from a great height. Ah, that rhymed. The person that uh, did that was a poet and did not know it. Glad I am gone, done and past, married six times, peace at last. We could probably read all of these. Let's see how many different uh, inscriptions there are. No one is here. Not a pound. Lost at sea, never found. What about this one? Ashes to ashes, dust to dust, Hydros refused, so Lithos must. Fair enough. And what about this one? Sir Lauda, blown apart by blasting powder. There was one over here by the looks of it. Yes, there was. Let's read this one, shall we? Goodbye, Freddy. Now gone, we remember you in song. I believe that is a tribute. Your stay on Pagan Avatar? Well, I'm enjoying it a little bit less now I know that I need to go and uh, join the necromancers. I believe that grave was a tribute to somebody who, in fact, was alive in real life. Let's have a look at uh, this one, shall we? Why do things always happen to me? Donna. I don't know. I would ask you, but you're dead. Anything over here? There's one grave all by itself. Let's read this one. Off the dock, dove Sir Jim, then he found he couldn't swim. That's okay, the Avatar can't swim either. You're in good company there. Here lies Burke, lost his life, dodging work. Don't dodge work. And there's another grave here, there are a lot of graves. Might as well read them all. Tip your lid to Sire Fox, taken away by the pox. Anything else? There's one over here as well. We probably have to go in there eventually. Miss Jones has no moans, and all alone is Mr. Jones. Any more graves? There's one over here. There are loads of graves. When you pass, shed a tear. Little Eva is buried here. Any more? There might not be any more. Never mind, there's one right over here. Let's have a look at this one, shall we? Here lies Ryan, crushed by Johnson. Are we going to find a grave for Johnson around here? Well, we can find more of those mushrooms that explode. Don't really want to find any more of them. Is there anything? Ah, well, there are some undead that we can fight. Have at thee! You're not very difficult to defeat with this weapon. I imagine this weapon is really good at defeating the undead. Maybe it's not so good at, at uh, defeating other enemies. And you have nothing, quite predictably. And there's nothing over here either. We could climb up here. Maybe there's something. No, wait, this is way, way too tall. There's another grave here, though. And a ghoul is rising from that grave. Let's put this person back to their eternal rest, shall we? You're a little confused. Let me help you. If only you would walk over here. Ah, there we go. Have at thee! And you managed to hit us. That's okay. We'll recover that health eventually. There we go. What does this grave say? Justin, his murder was better left unsolved. I think it would be better if you had solved that murder. And there is a building here. We could go and have a look at this building. Seems like a good idea. This building doesn't have anyone by it. What does this say? 
cannot read what this says, at least not from here. Let's try read it now, shall we? Moritan Family Mausoleum. Do not disturb. Well, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go in there and see if there's anything of interest. Let us save here, on one of the new save slots that I've found. There we go. And let us go in and see if we can find anything. Already one! Or some undead. Nothing in particular over here right now, apart from lots of bodies. And a ghoul. Hello! Time to fight thee! There we go. And I think I'm just hitting that uh, skeleton there, that's uh, on the floor. Aha! Now I'm hitting you! And you are now dead. Nothing there, nothing there. Ah, there's a potion there. I'm not sure I want that potion, though. You can keep that. And this body has nothing. This body has nothing. And this body... Can't click that one. This body has nothing. Anything else? There's a body there that we can have a look at. We haven't even found the person that we're meant to find here yet. And we're just looking everywhere else first. Ah, there's a ghost! Can I take on a ghost? This is a good question. We're about to find out. Come here, ghost! I wish to fight thee! We have a weapon that crushes bones, and because you're a ghost, you probably don't have any bones. You can also summon some uh, enemies. That's not good. We're probably going to die here. That is unfortunate. Or we're not going to die! Ha ha! We were victorious against the ghost, and now we might die to the ghouls that were summoned. Unless we can attack really quickly! Victory is ours! That was close. Maybe there'll be something worth that uh, hard fight on this body. Or maybe there'll be nothing. We only have 10 health, and the uh, number has gone red. That is justifiable, because we are nearly dead. But we do have lots of money! 182 obsidian coins! And I think we want to save, because we don't know what's going to happen when we try and search that body there. There might be something good, though. I hope, anyway. There we go. What is on this body? A potion. We did all that for a potion. We would have got some experience were we actually below uh, our maximum stats. So we did this basically for a little bit of money and uh, a potion. There's another potion. And is there a potion over here? The answer is no. So it was just one potion that we did all this for. Unless there's something else here. No, just a gem. Ah well, let's just get out of here, shall we? And close the door behind us. There we go, it's like nobody was ever there. And now, we can't rest here, because likely there are enemies nearby. Can we rest here? No. Can we rest here? We also can't rest here. Maybe it's because it's too early. That's not good, because there are ghouls walking around and we have no health, but that's okay. The Avatar likes a challenge! Have at thee! We will defeat you, and maybe gain health for doing so. No, we will not gain health for doing so. Let's go and find where we need to be, shall we? That looks like the walls that uh, enclose this area. Let's go and find the main area of the cemetery. We found more graves that we can look at, though. T took one in the dome. Alright, what about this one? Arnold Hasta La Vista Baby. Now that's definitely a reference to somebody who's still alive. Let's have a look at this. Civil the Minstrel. Wonders no more. Okay, and this one. Sir Robert tried to fly, found gravity an unforgiving foe. Not surprised about that. There's a grave here, too! Might as well read this one. Here lies... I don't know how to pronounce that, so I'm not going to say that. Attack by Torax? They're one victim. Fair enough. We're just going to go over here, and there's one more grave that I haven't read here? No, I read that one. It's this one that I haven't read. Here lies Fred. In a quarry, he was found dead. And then there's this one. Entombed is Cal, trusty and wise. Toils at work, then dies. And there's this one as well. So many graves, it's almost like this is where the graves would be. Rob is now dead. 
he should not have gone to Lagos. I think that's a reference to somewhere else, but the Avatar might know where that's referencing. Here lies Chell. Some say she was a lovely Belle. I think we found where we need to be. Let us go in here and see if we can rest. The answer is we can rest here. Marvelous, we will rest for one period of time and fully heal. In the graveyard. Moving on, another grave to look at. Sir Todd, I'm not dead yet, I'm getting better. I think you might be dead. Just saying, think you might be dead. Here lies Brian, felled by a killer spider. With the spiders here, I'm not surprised. Pamela, she worked too hard. And what about- ooh, there are lots of them here. What about this one? Oh no, not again. I think I know what's buried there. And what about this one? Stupidity is its own reward. There are lots of graves here. It's like lots of people have died in Tenebrae. Betty blah blah, killed by too many words. And what about this one? Here lies Beverly, died in revelry. That rhymed! Lots of these rhyme. A stupid pagan lies here dead. In his religion, he was misled. Have we read this one? R.I.P. Swordbooth Vitek. Maybe he wasn't so swordproof, eh? We've read that one. We haven't read this one, though. Sheris, last plot. Fair enough. And then there's this one. Steve, crunched to death. And is there somebody here? There is somebody here that we can talk to. We definitely need to talk to you. Ah, the life of the necromancer. I think we may have found the necromancer. Caught a hunch, but I think this is him. Hello? Mel has returned to hell. Don't mind me, I'm just reading all of the graves. Ah, no problem. Do not drink out of others' goblets. Either that goblet was poisoned, or the person killed you for it. We'll never know which. Always fully cook seafood. That person died from uh, food poisoning. Sad but true, here lies priest, practice that, no now decease. That is an odd rhyme. Did I read this one? I did read that one. Did I read this one, though? Sir D, twas just a flesh wound. I don't think it was. I think it might have been fatal. Perry, just went up in smoke. And what about this grave? With his head a shave, he was so very brave. Star. And there is this as well. Sir Don, couldn't sling a sword as fast as his drink. Fair enough, he wasn't a very good swordsman. We could go and talk to this person, but you know what I want to do instead? I want to go inside here and take everything that I can. Sounds like a good idea. There is an altar there, and some blood. I feel like that place will be important later on. Don't mind me, I'm just having a look around. There's a dagger, and a grand total of nothing. What about up here? Let's go and have a look around, shall we? There might be things that we can take, and there are things that we can take. Like, uh, Morian's Necromancer Prophet Hero. We have, uh, read that already. And there is also this, Dispelling Myths, The Truth About Magic. There is also a bag here, and in this bag is a pile of bone shards and a vial of blood. We're going to take this bag. We might have need for a bag, especially a bag with some reagents in it. We're going to uh, be using a lot of reagents. Let's just uh, get this bag and fill it full of all of these reagents. We will grab a... Uh, we can't grab that reagent right now. We can move that, but we can't grab it just right now. There is a pile of dirt, there is a pile of bone shards, and that is a pile of wood. We might actually want to grab these later. There's also uh, one other thing there. Let's see, that's a pile of Blackmore. Fair enough. What is in here? Well, there's something that we can uh, have a look in, and that is this. We will definitely be grabbing those reagents in a little bit. There's nothing of any particular interest in here, so we will move on. What about in here? Well, there's somebody in here. I can see Lothian there, in bed. And I don't think we can talk to Lothian. Lothian is sleeping. This chest is not locked. It also will not explode. And here is a scroll. 
Let us read this scroll, shall we? My time above this ground draws nigh. My dearest lord, the Mountain King, calls me, and I must go. Soon I shall shed this mortal coil, and join Lithos for life everlasting. Yet before I go, I must fulfil my final charge as necromancer. My final duty is this, my spell. The spell which shall be my addition to the magic of the earthen power, may Lithos be praised. For time immemorial, students of the power of earth shall this spell learn. From my undead lips shall they hear how to coax the lord of all earth to shake his mighty body, and make all fall before the user of earth and magic. To call quakes, combine the sacred reagents of bone, wood, dirt, and blackmore. Invoke the power of magic upon these reagents when enclosed within a bag, then you will be enabled to call upon the power of Lithos. This then is my final act as necromancer. I await the call of the Mountain King, Lothian Necromancer. We have just discovered how to make a spell, but we don't have the thing that we need to actually make the spell. We could get the ingredients and we could put them in a bag, but we don't have what we need to actually cast it yet. Just like with the um, spells that uh, Mithran teaches us, we need something to actually uh, power up the creation of the spell. In the case of Mithran's magic, we just need to uh, have the reagents and then read the book. It's different for necromancy, but learning how to do that will be for next time. For when we come back, folks, we're going to talk to this mage, and we're going to find out if we can, in fact, join the necromancers. Hopefully the answer is yes, otherwise our efforts to uh, master author magic in Pagan are going to meet a grinding halt very soon. So I'll catch you next time, folks, and I'll see you then. Later.